So I'm really excited to introduce Proto School. Um, Proto School is an educational community that teaches decentralized web protocols, tools, concepts, and we do it through online tutorials and local chapter events. So you can see I have a deck here for you, but I'm actually going to jump out to the website to show you some of this. The really the heart of Proto School is these interactive tutorials, almost all of which use code challenges. So as an example, this is uh, kind of the introductory lesson that we have to IPFS, the first one that really starts talking about that. And you see that you introduce a new concept in each lesson, and then you're asking the user to complete a code challenge. So for example, with this one, I see that my goal is to add a node that has test one. So when I try to do that, so let's say I do it like this and hit submit. We're giving feedback to the user. This one is actually quite useful. Some of the feedback is not as clear as that one. And then we try to submit again. We see that it works and we're invited to move on to the next lesson. So this is built in a way that we can do the lessons right in the browser, um, get feedback as we go. You, you may have noticed that it's also caching our code as we go. So if I return to this page later in the same browser, I'll have the same stuff stored here or I can reset the code. Um, and this makes it really easy for people to follow along. And you'll actually see that there's also a kind of status here of how far along I am in my lessons. You'll see whether you've completed one or it's in progress or so forth. Um, <clears throat> so we're really excited about the, like, the format of the website. We have a few tutorials to start with. And I do just want to point out for anyone who's not yet familiar with IPFS or who are the decentralized web in general or knows people who are still trying to get their head around those concepts. This first lesson here on decentralized data structures is new and does not have any code challenges. So people who are not developers should be able to walk through it and just get some introduction to content addressing, CIDs, hashing, those kinds of concepts that make the decentralized work and help explain why we'd want to use it. So you'll notice that the content that we have right now on the website is primarily about IPFS, but this is meant to be a site that's about the decentralized web in general and various protocols. So whether that's IPFS, IPLD, libp2p, multi-formats, Filecoin, um, projects beyond that, we're really interested in helping people understand what's possible on the decentralized web and give them the tools they need to get started in, a, in an environment that's not intimidating. Um, this is the beginner lesson I mentioned. And one of the ways that we can make this feel less intimidating, we think, is with local chapters and local events. So we actually had our first event on Friday in Denver. Local chapters around the world are hosting live events that use those tutorials as curriculum, but have mentors available for support on site. So chapters operate independently but we have sort of a support system in place. So each of them gets its own repo in our org where it can share chapter info, host discussions, list upcoming events. And that because of the structure of our repo, that also means that a, a chapter can choose to use GitHub pages to build a website, which will then end up on our domain. The way that we have the repo set up allows the organizers of various chapters to pull their knowledge. So the org name is Proto School. And then in here, you'll see two repos pinned at the top. So protoschool.github.io is the website code. And that's where you would go to look at the issues that we've identified, uh, little tweaks we want to make to the existing site, or big tweaks, new lesson ideas, et cetera. But the other main repo here is the organizing one. And that's where you're going to find the information on how to start a new chapter. And that's where you would open an issue to request your new chapter. And then the other repos that you see here are the repos for each of the existing chapters. But a few things I'd really invite everyone on this call to do. The first is just explore the Proto School website and share some feedback. So for example, if you're going through a specific lesson at the bottom of the page, you'll see a customized link to submit feedback. That link knows what page you're on and can help you start filling out that issue. Also, if you go, this is, you'll see we're in the Proto School org and then the protoschool.github.io repo. If you open a new issue, there are templates to help you do something like get lesson feedback, request a new feature, report a bug, and suggest a new tutorial. This is one of the things we need help with is figuring out what are those next pieces of content. One of the ones we're excited to do next is a lesson that works with the, um, the file API so that 
people can see how to manipulate files as opposed to just seeing how to manipulate data objects. Um, so that's one we're excited about, but we're open to new suggestions for tutorials and, um, and, and volunteers who are able to help us build those. And you can find information on the website under the build tab about how, this, how the tutorials are built. Uh, one of the biggest tasks for people who are, who are game is to start a local proto school chapter. But what does this entail? It's important to understand kind of what, what you're signing up for if you do that. So as a chapter organizer, you'll be organizing local chapter events. Like I said, using the tutorials as curriculum and providing mentors. It, you can, so organizing chapter events is a big piece of this. And you're running those events independently with the chapters. We're, we're really committed to making sure that our, our chapters have autonomy to lead their events. Um, you have a repo to maintain. That's a great place to use the issues as a place for discussions within your chapter. Um, you can add, essentially add the people who come to your events as members of your, of your repo as a way to then communicate them with easily, share announcements about events, etc. There is an overarching code of conduct for Proto School to encourage us to create a, a vibrant and inclusive community um, where everyone's treated with, with respect and feels very welcome. But as a chapter organizer, it's your responsibility to make sure that your specific chapter, both the repo and the events, has a code of conduct that you're responsible for enforcing. And then this is optional but highly recommended building a chapter website. As I mentioned, with GitHub pages, it would be very easy to do that and host it at our domain. But I, but I can envision that there are some chapter organizers who will want to just use their repo as the website, just make a nice, complete readme use discussions there. There are some folks who might already be running a meetup. For example, I know we have IPFS meetup organizers around the world who might just use the repo and then link to their uh, meetup page as the place where events would be announced. So it's up to you the format that you want to take with this. Um, but note that that chapter website is made easier by the GitHub pages option. And you can find complete instructions for setting up a chapter in our GitHub repo. And then the other thing you can do is just help spread the word. So we're Proto School on Twitter. You can help share the message and extend our reach there. 